Hello, my name is Suzanne Wagner. I'm a professional psychic and the author of a book called Integral Tarot Decoding the Essence. I wrote this book in 2004 and um, I have been teaching classes about tarot ever since. I love teaching tarot and one of the things I loved about the Aleister Crowley tarot was that um, Aleister Crowley astrologically and numerologically made the tarot cards correct. And most of the modern decks uh, follow his model. Well recently I called US Games to order more cards for my classes and much to my shock I discovered that they had taken out the extra two Magus cards. And I wanted to do this video to help people understand that when they go to my book, they're going to see that I have three Magus cards. And those are, the first one is the Magus card, which is the Entrepreneur card. And this is the one that is going to continue to be in the U.S. Games Aleister Crowley Tarot deck. There is another one which has been in the deck for many, many, many years, which is the Bear Dreamer Magus, which actually represents Neptune in my book. And then the third one, which is actually <laughs> um, the Trickster Magus, um, which is the Golden God Magus that represents Uranus. So the reason I wanted to talk about this was because um, with these extra cards in the deck, and it's been sold this way for a long time, it actually balanced out the tarot in a way that no other um, person had figured out. So I called uh, US Games and they said, well, we don't sell the deck anymore with those extra two Magus cards because uh, the Secret Society, which is Ordo Templi Orentius, um, made the request that they take them out. Now, I don't know the reason why, and I'm not a member of Ordo, Ordo Templi Orentius, but what I want everybody to understand is that now, since they have taken them out, you're going to have to look at each of these Magus cards and decide for yourself, based on the cards around them, whether they are um, going to be Mercury, which is the Entrepreneur card, which was the first one, the Bear Dreamer Neptune card, which is the second one, or the third one, which is the Trickster Magus, which represents Uranus. The reason that this was so significant to me that they had left them in was that uh, I think there are three different levels of communication. The first level of communication is about a skill set, which the first card represents. And that's the one that's going to continue to be in the deck. So just like in The Wizard of Oz, um, the person who Dorothy runs away from, uh, she runs away from home and she goes to see the man in the wagon and he uses his communication skill because he knows she's run away and he knows it's not safe for her to run away and he uses his skill of communication to positively manipulate Dorothy to go back to her Auntie M and to go home because it's the right thing to do. But just like in The Wizard of Oz, there's many faces of the magician. So um, also in The Wizard of Oz, the uh, gatekeeper to um, Oz is actually the same character. The gatekeeper to the Emerald City is the same uh, person. The carriage man of the multicolored horses in the Emerald City is the same man. And the man who is Oz and he is saying, I am Oz, is the big scary trickster, um, Magus. And then also the man behind the curtain um, is also the Magus. So there are three ways of uh, communicating um, with this kind of energy. And that's what was so significant about the Aleister Crowley cards um, up to this point. <laughs> so um, now when you look at the cards, you're going to have to decide whether you, uh, the person that you're reading is trying to learn a skill set, which is the first card, or whether the skill set in communication that they need to learn is inward, which would be the Bear Dreamer card and would be reflecting Neptune, or if it was going to be the forms of deception that the trickster Magus uses in order to manipulate people to get what he wants. Um, so it's kind of the scarier version of communication. 
So I wanted to point that out so that um, from this point on, I'm hoping that uh, U.S. Games will change their mind. I'm hoping that Ordo Templi Orentius will change their mind and allow um, the three cards to continue to be there. I will have to change my book and update my book, which I'm in the process of doing on Kindle, in order to uh, explain this new shift. So, but I wanted to put it out on YouTube because I'm sure people are going to be a little confused. And it was shocking to me too. So if you feel compelled, I would love for you to write U.S. Games and to let them know that you would love it if they would go back and make sure that the other Magus cards um, are in the deck. Thank you so much. Bye.